Alrighty everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Isaac. Shh. Alrighty everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Isaac. This is such an exciting video for me because today I'm going to be going to the bike shop and getting my brand new bike. So I'm a little bit excited. It's gonna head over to the shop, get it, and then we'll come back and I'll tell you a bit of then I'll tell you a bit about it and then I'll get it ready for riding. So let's get straight into it. This bike is a Merida 160 400. Uh, it's a 2021 version and I got a size extra large because I'm 6 foot 1 and it fits me absolutely perfectly. So this is a 27.5 bike. It's got 2.5 tires on the front and 2.4 on the back. It's got 160mm of travel on the back because it's the Merida 160 and 170mm up front. So moving down to the drivetrain, we have the Shimano Dior drivetrain on this bike and then we have the MT6100 brakes on this bike, so they're the four piston brakes, a 203mm rotor on the front and 180mm on the back. So that's just a quick little look at this awesome new bike, um, I'll do a proper full on review in a couple months once I've been riding this bike for a while. So uh, let's go set it up for riding. Alright, so there's a few things that I want to do to this bike before I ride it, such as converting it to tubeless, and I'm also going to put a few frame protection such things on, so like on the down tube and there's also where the cables are made rubber, but a couple little stickers, just transparent things just to put on the frame to keep it in better condition. So just make sure when you're doing this, you start at one end. I'm just gonna start from the bottom. Make sure you just stick a tiny bit on, line it all up, and then press it down. Just press the middle down. You don't need to fold the sides over until it's completely undone. And then just slowly pull that away and slide the sticker on as you go. And then just check once in a while that it's all still straight. Alrighty, simple as that. Alright, so for this one, I'm just going to be putting this little sticker underneath that. Actually, I'm going to be putting one of these little stickers just under there just to stop it rubbing against the frame because there's already slight marks right there. So I'm just going to turn the bike this way so that the cable's already slightly moved out and just obviously peel one of them off. Find where the cable's touching it, and we'll just slide that under and pop that on. Simple as that. Right, so I'm also just going to be putting a frame protector in between the cable and the suspension, just because that cable will rub and wreck that suspension eventually. So I'm just trying to figure out the best way to put it on. Alrighty, and there's that one. Right, time to convert to tubular. Right, so the bike is pretty much ready to go, but the last thing I'm just gonna do is 
set the cockpit up for me. So adjust the brake on the angles that I like, put the gear shifter where I want it, and last of all, I'm gonna put some different grips on because these ones are fairly entry level grips. So I'm just gonna chuck these jet black grips on and uh, they should do the job nicely. So let's get to it. So I've just noticed that the shifter is actually connected to the same clamp of the brake lever. So that's really cool because you can undo this little bolt under there and you will be able to slide the shifter along. So I like my shifter a bit further in than what it is now. So I'm going to undo that bolt and slide it in and that should make it perfect. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to do, just because the brakes feel a tad squishy because they're brand new, I'm just going to move the levers. I'm just going to undo the bolt to shift them out a bit further. Alright, so I've done all the adjustments. So I've turned it to tubeless, I've put on all the frame protections that I have, and I've put on new grips and set up the cockpit for me. So that's pretty much all I want to do to this bike before I ride it. So that means there's only one thing left to do, and that is to ride it. So let's go test out this beast. Alrighty, first ride on this new bike. So I'm going to be riding this trail that I rode with my brother in the previous video. Um, I haven't actually named it yet, so chuck a comment down below if you have any name ideas for this trail. Let's shred. That is incredible. Ah, oh, wow. Right back at the top. I'm gonna to be riding Rubrizza next. Let's do this. Whoa! Ow. See my skid mark? My leg just went straight into that tree. All right, let's try that again. Oh, that drop is so much smooth with good suspension. All right, we'll see how we go. Woo. Oh, I had way too much speed. Yet I went the normal speed. Let's session that jump a bit, I reckon. Oh. I must say, I'm going to enjoy this climb. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a few flat bits on the climb that I can't be bothered to get off and put my seat down on my old bike. But this, no worries. Trail and I'm building. Alrighty guys, that is the end of this video. This bike is so awesome, I absolutely love riding it. And I can't wait to ride like out of my property at proper trail systems. So I'm super looking forward to that. But until then, I'll have to be content riding here, which is still heaps of fun. 
Uh, this bike, my first impression is it's really great. We'll see how it holds up for the next few months and then I'll give you a proper review then. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.